This is Susie Ashworth, Quantum Transformation and Embodiment Coach, helping female entrepreneurs like you create six-figure breakthroughs in your business. First, what I really want to talk to is the alignment piece. And it, I have always said that you can give two people the exact same strategy one person will run with it and another person will hit every single obstacle and sometimes the person who hits the obstacles isn't really up for the strategy and other times they're kind of giving it their all but it's still not working and what's going on there and i believe that for most for the most part it's the same thing that there is a lack of truth is the word that I want to use. There is a lack of truth, could be also known as alignment between what they are communicating and what their heart and soul really wants that person to be doing. And so what that means from a from the way that you are showing up is that even if you want the clients, even if you're working on your money mindset, even if you believe that you have a good product, if the thing that you really, really want to be doing isn't the thing that you're talking about, there's a lack of truth and a lack of alignment and people feel that disconnect energetically. People are being held back by the thoughts, the fears, the concerns about who they used to be. It's like, I haven't earned it. I haven't earned the right to show up as this new version of me, of this expanded version of who I am. 90% of people who are doing the work and are not getting the results, it's this piece. You're still in denial of some piece of yourself that you don't want people to know about and or you are not really selling the thing that you want to sell because you don't believe that you're good enough to do it or that you don't believe that people are going to buy it. You do need to be at peace with who you are. You do need to forgive where you have been. You do need to accept who you were. You do need to embrace who it is that you desire to be. And from that space, the energy of how you show up and the conviction that you are able to embody when it comes to owning yourself completely and saying, I've got something that is going to change your life, completely different energy. So I think that Jim Carrey is the person who said this so well. He was like, I just want everybody to be a millionaire so that they realize that they're still going to need to do the shit. They're still going to need to do the work, but you are not going to feel more worthy when you have more money in the bank account. You will, you will have more financial freedom. You will have more leverage. You will have more choices, but the person that you go to bed with at the end of the day is still you. And when you're able to connect yourself to that knowing, that level of worthiness, regardless of whether somebody says yes, regardless of whether somebody says no, regardless of whether somebody says it's too expensive, regardless of whether somebody says your services are too cheap, it has nothing to do with your inherent worthiness. And I think that when you can come from a place of I am fucking priceless. That is an energy that becomes magnetic. People want to feel like that. Most people don't feel like that. And when you really spend time on your own um, feeling into the energy of your worth on a daily basis, feeling into the energy of your pricelessness, your sovereignty on a daily basis, what happens is that when you, you then allow yourself to be really, really honest about how you want to show up, when you're operating from that place of knowing your worth, you get really, really honest about how you want to serve people, 
and you get really, really honest about how much you want to charge people. And from that space of truth and trust, and knowing that you have a right to take that place and that space, what you find is that your words are encoded with that energy of worth. Your words are encoded with that energy of pricelessness. And all of a sudden, people are saying yes. Now, I want to be really, really clear. You do not need to be perfect. This is a work in progress. Every time you are going up to a new level, there's a new level of alignment that you have to find. There's a new level of truth. So it's ongoing. And so uh, if you are feeling stuck, if you are feeling frustrated, if you are feeling like you're doing the work and it is not working, I want you to go back to this piece. And a great question for you to ask yourself is if I had the financial security, if I wasn't worried about what people think about me, what would I choose to do? What would I choose to be saying? Who would I choose to be being? And dive in from that space. If you feel 100% confident in what it is that you are offering, then you need to start bringing that energy to your lives. And then if you know that you are in alignment, I want you to look at how you're showing up. Now you don't need to show up like me, but I want you to receive the energy behind the words. There is a level of conviction and a level of truth in everything that I've said this morning that gets to shift people's energy fields. And that is powerful. And so I want you to look at how you are showing up, how you are communicating the transformation, the importance. Right, my darlings, this has been such a pleasure. I love this so much. I love you and I will see you next week.